Okay, you guys need to go in your rooms and have quiet time so I can do my video. It's not quiet. Hey guys, my name's Katie and this is my first YouTube video. I'm like anticipating doing some cool intro song, but if it doesn't happen, like, you know. So today, I'm going to repop my poor little poinsettia, or however you say it. I got this at the grocery store, because every grocery store is selling plants now. And um, it was really beautiful when I got it. And then I brought her home. Let's go her. And the soil is moldy. And um, she's just kind of like really sad right now. So I'm going to clean her up and repot her. And find a good place in my house to put her. And hope it works. I also have broken off two of her stems. Um, I've never had a poinsettia, so I didn't realize, I mean, like, it was so delicate, it just snapped so easily, so I'm extremely nervous. Um, also, I've, like, never really done a YouTube video before, so, double nervous. So, uh, let's see what happens. I'm gonna start by just getting it out. I haven't done laundry in, like, a week, which makes no sense, because I also haven't left my house, but I'm using a pad for like your kids crib mattress you know as like a blanket because I'm doing this inside because I live in Utah and it is snowing so here we go cleaning off the roots okay so I'm just gonna put all the old dirt in this bowl for now um this oh my gosh Starting to get root bound. Um, I'm gonna put gloves on because this is moldy. Okay. So, it says, I'm not gonna be able to pronounce any of those words. Um, extremely long lasting, how to grow, indirect light, moderately moist soil, moderate home temp, 65, seven degrees. Fahrenheit, 81 to 21 degrees Celsius. Mom, where is the video? Right here. My phone's right here. Taped to the blender. Because <laughs> that's the only way it would stand up. Alright, I'm going to get this top gross bit off huh? with all the mold on it. So I don't have to breathe that in. I don't need it. No, um, there's a lot of little roots. I don't know if the best thing to do is to get all of the soil off. Um, I don't know if I should break this up. I have never done this. Um, let me just loosen up the top. So here was, oh, see, I already like heard a little crack. I'm gonna set her down. This is what it came in, and this is what I'm I can't see because I have my phone all jimmy rigged and taped to the blender weird. Um, this is what she's going in. And I have this, like, okay. <laughs> I have this thing at the bottom. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad that I have my shirt and this thing in the way to catch all that oh, gross water. Just like a drop, little tiny drops. Um, okay, so here's the nasty soil I'm gonna get rid of. And I was gonna get some stones to put in here. Do you know where any stones are, Katie? Where? Like little stones. Mm -mm. No, Mom, look, it's the same thing. Rocks. Okay, I just grabbed a small handful of rocks from outside for the bottom. And then, hmm, it needs to drain well. So I got, I manifested it because my mom bought this on accident, but I needed it. Um, this for a wide variety of container plants. 
and I had this guy on the front, so I figured it was what I needed, right? Um, it just needs to be able to drain well. So, I mean, this looks exactly the same as what it's already got, so maybe just getting that gross top layer off. Okay, so I just fill it. I'm scared to dump it out. Y'all will see, I punt things is what I've been told. Um, so here is like, I don't know, a little more than half. Um, and then I just take my like whole, I don't know, I kind of spread everything around. Um, let's see if I can show you without ruining it. Anyways, so just like, you know, push it to the sides. Um, I'm actually going to put a little bit more because I don't want to cover the top of it. Um, okay. So it just helps if you can have the soil along the sides because it's difficult to pour it in once the plant's in without kind of, you know, messing with it. And with this one being so fragile, I just don't want to risk it. So I'm actually going to go more like three quarters of the way um, because with all these roots right here, I want it to be able to go a long ways down. And I'm not packing this down at all, like, at all. I want it to be really, really loose so these roots can just do their thing, girl. I mean, that's crazy. I've, I don't know. I feel like if I do anything with it, I'm just going to bust it up. It's okay. Okay, so I'm just gonna place it. Actually, that's a little bit too much. Cause I don't want it like above the rim. It makes it really difficult for watering. So let's just take some out of the center only. Kind of pack back up your sides a little bit. Okay. Place it back in. Um, I'm just gonna take a little bit more out, sorry. And then I need to just leave her alone. She needs to just have some alone time. And I don't blame her, she's probably been through a lot. Okay, so. I will show you kind of what I feel like is what she needs here. I have my sides, okay? It's all the way up on the sides, just super like deep down, okay? In the middle. So we're just gonna slide her in. I think that's good. And then just by hand, like gently add it to the top. Don't push down at all. So, just gonna fill it to the top. I like leaving a little bit around the edge, kind of like a moat for the water. Um, actually, I'm gonna look into this one because I like watering my plants from the bottom. The ones that have leaves that kind of go all the way down. I mean, I don't think this one will once she's revitalized. So maybe it'll be okay. Um, but for ones that like they have leaves at the bottom or something, I like to just fill up a tray with water and just dunk them in, you know, maybe like 20 minutes, let it soak up what it needs. Then you don't have to worry about overwatering or ruining anything, you know, by watering the top, getting it dirty, or anything like that. For this, I haven't looked to see. Oh, this does, by the way, also have holes in the bottom for it to drain. So we'll have to see. I'm gonna read about that. For now, I'm definitely going to water from the top so that I can get it down to the roots to spread out. That makes more sense to me. 
Um, and then once I can tell it's doing well, maybe I'll try that. For now, since I'm going to be watering from the top, I'm kind of just going to make, you can see it's like raised here, because I'm not going to push it down. And then it's kind of like pushed down around the edges like a moat. So when I water it, it's not going to come spilling out. I just turned on my drip. Well, my dishwasher. Okay. Apparently that was a good idea. <laughs> so, it looks very good to me. I'm happy with it. And then I give all my plants distilled water. So, I just get a big jug, you know, store brand, whatever. Um, distilled water for my plants and I'm gonna water it right away just because I know this potting mix is pretty moist but just to give it a good start um, I go from the middle out and then the soil is naturally kind of gonna sink when it's wet um, but it's not gonna come out of the edge because of my moat. I'm gonna make sure the all sides pretty good. Um, I like to go slowly just so that when it starts coming out the bottom, I know to stop. And I do want to water it thoroughly the first time and then just keep it maintained after that. So with this, I believe, Let me get out my notes. Where did I write it out? Okay, lots of water, drainage, humidity. So, this one I may put in my bathroom for the winter when it's really dry. I have my Monstera in my bathroom right now, and she's looking fly, y'all. Like, that's where she has been the absolute happiest. Um, she's pretty low maintenance though. I really have had issues. And, but I mean, she's just like, killing it in the bathroom. So, I gotta remold my moats a little bit now that the soil's kind of settling. Um, so, for now, she's gonna go in the bathroom. Um, do you know what's kind of cool about plants is that okay so I have depression right like um, chronic so I don't shower very often I don't do my hair my may make my makeup um, you know I just I got this stuff to do like I don't care about all that but anyways it really helps because with these plants that need humidity um, it's not gonna get humid unless I like shower and make steam, you know, and all that. So I need to shower more. So it kind of helps with depression and anxiety for sure. Um, you know, taking care of something like you have to get up and water your plant. You know, it's really not that hard. Okay, and like your plant needs you. So it kind of is like your reason to get up sometimes, you know, when everything else is too hard and you see almost immediate effects like I already feel like this plant's happier and it's really cool you know I could have just stayed in bed all day and instead I'm doing my first YouTube video and brave planting my beautiful plant so um it's been really neat to I still feel like I see some roots kind of little baby ones so I just where's out the soil you know I'm just gonna a little bit for good luck So anyways, I um, have never been a, had a green thumb, whatever people say. Um, I never thought I was good with plants, I always just killed them, whatever. But it wasn't true. Um, you know, like just saying you're not good at something is kind of not fair. So anyways, um, I 
realized that it wasn't true. It's not that I'm bad at something. It's just that I haven't figured it out yet. So it was really neat to just give it a whirl and realize that I am good at this and get better. And I lost some along the way, but I mean, I do my best and I learn and then I'll do better. And it's really gratifying. Um, I'm going to go put poinsettia in the bathroom in a good spot and I will be right back. Alright, so poinsettia is in my room right now. Um, it's snowing and there's no sunlight at all. So I have a light, you know, those like clinical depression lights. Um, my mom got me one of those, so I have those on my plants. I don't know if it's doing anything, but it's all I can think of to do right now. Um, so, we'll do a bathroom tour another time where I can show you my Monstera too. Um, I am going to film my next video with me. I'm really nervous. I'm really nervous. Anyways, I'm going to plant my avocado seed and I am extremely nervous because this avocado <laughs> oh, this is seen some stuff, okay? So it's lasted with me from my move to my new house. Um here he is. Oh, look at those leaves. Like, it's genuinely a really big leaf. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I grew it from a seed. Oh, my son ate from, nope, I grew that from an avocado seed. From an avocado my son ate. And I had literally like 12 of them that I was trying to take care of at one time. And with the move and everything going on in my life, it just wasn't a good time for me to try to do that. So this guy is the only one that lasted. <laughs> I'm so scared to mess this up. So I am going to film another video. So check back in. And let's plant my sweet little avocado seed. Okay, see you on the next one.